Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com. Thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, coming here with another product. This is from joinloop.com. This is the Loop. Uh, it's uh, purported as the easiest way to stay connected to people and things you love. Um, and uh, it's kind of designed to store uh, or uh, project a ton of your photos from a mobile app. Uh, photos, videos that you share effortlessly, and video chat on a Wi-Fi connected display. Um, you can connect to uh, private photos you want to share with a private family or group members, Facebook, Instagram photos, Dropbox photos. You can even put a micro SD card in here. Uh, you can create different channels with this uh, using uh, your mobile device, uh, Flickr, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff. And you can capture moments and send them directly to Loop. So you can share your moments with your family through Loop. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of an interesting little thing. It's a simple setup, very easy. I got to tell you that. Uh, it's portable. And you can play videos from YouTube that are only on Play This. That's one downside. On the website, it says you can play any videos, or it implies you can play any videos from YouTube. Uh, you can't. You can only play Play This, which is actually annoying. Um, and it has a 10 inch high resolution display, ambient light dimming, uh, runs on Wi Fi, SD card reader is with it as well. Uh, normally, this thing is priced at $299 as of this recording. Um, the biggest challenge I have, well, I have a few challenges with it. Number one, for about that price range, you could buy a good iPad and you get a feature rich product, and you can do video calls across it. Um, the problem with the loop is you need to do video calls, you need two people to own a loop to do video calls between each other. So you're going to spend 600 bucks if you want to talk to your mom on video chat. When in reality, she probably owns a mobile device that you could just do that on anyway without having to spend any extra money. Um, the controls on it are a bit jiggity. Um, sometimes they don't react to the movements up and down. Um, I got to tell you, I, I, it's not a product I'm really excited about, impressed with. Uh, it's a beautiful looking product and design product. And that's about it. The app is a bit jiggity and less and feature poor as well. Uh, I can't recommend this thing at the price point that it's at. I'm not even sure at $200 I'd recommend it. Uh, maybe you like it or can find a way to make it work. Or maybe they're going to have features in the future. They're going to make it work. But at this point in time, I couldn't recommend this product in any way, shape, or form. I, you know, it'd be... you'd you get much more features and be feature rich if you just bought an inexpensive iPad and put it on a stand and it would do much more than this thing would. So um, good luck with that. Uh, you can go to joinloop.com and check it out if you want and we'll see you then.